hi guys <laughs> I'm on an adventure this is an adventure that was done a couple of years ago probably more like four years ago in fact when I actually started the channel um, I did this this adventure and unfortunately due to rain I was unable to film it however today we're going to be uh, doing some different things and we're going to go meet up with somebody so while I drive there I'll leave you guys to look at some of this uh, amazing scenery I am here in the Shropshire Hills with the cows and the hills and nature and with somebody who you'll get to see in a moment. Right now I'm walking up the Shropshire Way and I'm heading up to the top of a hill that took me, well, you guys believe that my very first ever hill climb was the Titterson Clee. In fact, not entirely true. You see, I came here two, three years ago, four years ago in fact, to climb the Kerkara Dock. I came here to film it for this channel and due to rain and weather, I never managed to film it. However, I did get to the top and I did it with my good friend John, who you've all seen before. So, uh, we're returning to actually make a video so in a little bit we'll get up to the top but first we've got an adventure that could really be scary or exciting well we'll see won't we let's get on with it so I'm here Caradoc is just <laughs> there I'm here with the child himself <laughs> Dave Outdoors Hey. We're here on an adventure. We're climbing the climbing the uh, climbing the Caradoc, but we've also got Mr. Drony, and we've got another Mr. Drony. So these are practically our maiden flights, as that one hits me in the head. Um, <laughs> We're just gonna give them a go, see how they uh, see how they fare, you know. Can't really beat a DJI Spark, I guess. But they're good fun. Dave looks like he's having fun with it. You having fun? Very much. <laughs> you sound like you are. <laughs> oh dear. So we've got droning Mahoney over there, Snow White. I'm just going to call mine the Red Baron.
right as you can see that was the maiden flight and I didn't crash it this time unlike my first ever pilot session with the Phantom that didn't go do too well I think I actually crashed into the car there but uh, never mind yeah my own car crashed in yeah anyway um, we were thinking Caradoc However, the weather is telling us we want to be doing something different because the rain is about to come in. I have felt a few spots while we've been here and I don't really really want to be stuck up on a hill with no wet weather clothes. Um, so we're going to try and find another place a little bit uh, lower down because I've used one battery and I've got two more so that gives me another 30 minutes of void time. Dave Outdoors has also got 30 minutes, but he's already had 30 already. How's your... Yeah, you went through sport mode. I was so. in sport mode all the time, <laughs> wasn't I? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And we both managed to fly two drones at the same time without crashing. Which I think was a feat in itself. Um, but anyway, yeah, we're going to be heading off towards Hope Bowdler now, I think, up the Shropshire Way. And we're going to see if we can find something of interest that we can get the drones back up again. And, uh, and and show you but today is all about adventure so true to what my channel is it's a rambling channel rambling is wherever the hell you want to go with and there's no real aim to it um, so we'll see where we end up we'll let you know as we go could be Scotland forever yeah, that was a cracking uh, cracking flight that <coughs> So as most of you know, I don't like these buggers. Given the chance these things will eat you and this one's got a little bit of a shifty eye on him. But this gate is going to stop him from killing me. Let's say hello to a cow. Come on then. Come on then. Here kitty kitty. Tesco's. McDonald's. So we're confronted with a couple of heifers. I like the black one. It's because it's staying its distance, I like it, but yeah. So, Hope Barrel Hills that way. I forget this one. Is it Winkles? Willstone. Willstone. It's got Willstone. <laughs> I forget these. I grew up this area. I forget, yeah, 30 years ago, but never mind. So yeah, there's some cows. For those that like cows, now you're happy. Anyway, on this side of the hill, there's nothing. I promise you, there's nothing. Come a little bit up the track now. We've got this like dug out mound. I ain't got a clue what it is. I don't know if it's uh, ancient earthworks or something that the farmers decided to make, but some lovely views into the valley there with the with the cows. It's a shame I didn't have the proper camera and the tripod because that's quite a nice picture there. Nice composition. But what pisses me off, and I very rarely swear on this channel, is this. Those that block public right of ways and footpaths and don't maintain the, the styles, they piss me off. But this pisses me off even more. We've got a Lucasade bottle and some kind of cheapo fucking can of deodorant. I can't imagine old Daisy over there drinking Lucasade and wanting to smell nice for her fella. Can you? So we're gonna pick up that now put it in our rucksacks, take it down to a bin, that's disgusting. If you're going to come out, have your drinks, why there's deodorant there I don't know, unless you're a smelly hiker I don't really care, but don't leave it there for animals to eat, it's disgusting.
Here he is. Just about getting that dirt. Uh, oh, that's because I'm too close to it. He's down beeping. But yeah, Sparky's there. And uh, that's me on the screen. Hey! It's like Christmas, isn't it? Hey, fantastic. We've had some great shots of the Caradoc and um, some uh, great shots of the sheep over there. We've got some uh, cracking shots. I'm happy with it. I'm really happy. So, better get this thing landed before it decides it's going to land itself. Got three minutes of flight time left. So, uh, let's sort it out. I tell you what, one thing I do like about the Spark is how small it is. Very rare that somebody's going to be complimenting on how small something is, but uh, it's small and it fits in a box. Perfect. Oh. I'm also testing out a new microphone. I'm hoping everything's going to be fine and hairy. I have got a little bit of a muff, as you all know. I like a muff. Uh, <laughs> it's a, a Saramonic mic, it's a plug in thing. So my rig is a bit smaller for vlogging, but hopefully the sound is coming for you, coming to you, perfectly sound. Anyway, I'm going to pack this stuff up and on to the next place. Now that's not something you see every day, is it? Mushrooms like that, I don't know if they're edible. I'm not even going to try or attempt those things if they're not edible can be very dangerous but guys look at what I've got behind me that's the lolly just over there got the reek in in the distance beautiful beautiful so we weren't gonna go up the Caradoc but uh, Mr. Outdoors there has decided I'm gonna go up there so we're heading up there. So guys, a little bit further up the track, I was going to stop, but Dave Outdoors insisted that if I didn't carry on, he'd get his Vaseline out and help me up the hill. So I'd rather not do it with Vaseline. I'm going to do this by myself. Dave's up there, I'm here, we're doing it. We are doing it. I tell you what, the sun's come out. Oh wow! Take a look at them guys. Not the sheep. Dave's interested in them. Look at those those rocks there, guys. Am I just? That's that's exactly what it's all about. Rugged nature at its best. And that's what this is about. Getting out. It's not all about high at the cow and then he fell off. It's not all about camping all the while. It's about getting out and being one with nature. It's trying to achieve things that you didn't really think was possible. And I gotta say, I wasn't really stoked about doing this because my own fitness. But I am now. I'm glad I'm here. So we're gonna get to the top, have something to eat, have a brew admire what's about. What are we doing here? We are doing it. Just to give you guys a view. Got a little strut in there. Church strut. And I used to live about there. Once upon a time. Just below below Ragliff Hill. Somewhere there it used to be my school. It's it straight and comprehensive. <laughs> and there, there's Dave, if you can see his head just poking up. Well guys, I'm here. Top of the Caradoc, hey. I'm overlooking straight Stretton, little Stretton, all Stretton. Every single stretch you can think of is down there. Look at that for a view. This is what worth it. So I do thank Dave Outdoors for forcing me to come up the hill. As I said earlier, he told me that he was going to help me up with Vaseline, but uh, 
uh, I wasn't liking that idea so I thought I'd better get move on. Oh look, there's a train. wonder where they're going. And is that a tent in the field? Just down there. a bit of uh, apple energy drink and a bit of a biscuit and now it's time to head back down because the clouds are looking grey and I don't want to be in a wet storm so we're heading back down and hopefully end up at the pub for a nice coke because that's all I drink maybe a shandy <laughs> but yeah thanks to Dave Outdoors for bringing me up here. The video is not over yet though. We still got to get down. Right, let's make a move. Well, there we have it, back at the car. Walk is done and Dave Outdoors has destroyed me. Whew. I feel like I've been ridden like a, a Mustang across the, the prairie. No Vaseline involved. Oh. So I think the plan is that we're gonna to the pub for a pint. Pub to the pint. I think it's well deserved it. Now for me it's going to be a coke. I might stretch out for a shandy, I don't know, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, what a fantastic walk. Dave, thanks for having me. You're welcome, mate. And inviting me You're out. You're welcome. It's been a, it's been it's been a good fun, fun with the drones as well, actually. It's, it's, been, it's a... been a good crack with the drones, it really has. I mean, they're, they're going to do so much for the footage, not just for me. Uh, obviously, Russ has got one and Gordon's got one as well, so the footage is going to be quite epic from now on, I think, for the, for the rest of us. So stay tuned for some uh, cinematic footage. <laughs> Them and their cinematics. Oh, but actually it's me that keeps going on about it. But yeah, um, it's been a cracking time, as you've seen with the drone footage that you've already seen. Um, we've had some fun with it. Yeah, in the future there's going to be some more drone shots. Um, and, and thanks for taking me up the Caradoc as well, which you know, as I said before, it was the very first hill that I actually walked as the Druid Rambler. In fact, there's probably an Instagram or a tweet somewhere that, uh, that states that. Um, but yeah, I've never managed to get up there and film it, and today I have, so thanks today for, for making me get up there. So yeah, now time to get to the pub. But before we go, I'm going to end it here because there's no point in filming in the pub. Everybody does that. So. Uh, Dave, Dave Outdoors, if you've not known him, there is a link in the description to his channel, so go over and subscribe to him if you're not already. And uh, if you've liked today's effort and like to do today's video with me, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button if you that's into something you're into. And um, I guess I'll see you on the, the next adventure, wherever that may be. Bye for now.